So guys, took the 818 out for a little run here to tour the countryside. And I used her weight and her power to pull this 816 up on here with a quick lay loader. Now this loader is, uh, it's rough. I'm not going to lie guys, it's rough. Um, probably the worst part is the bucket here. I don't know if you guys can see, but the weld, it's actually cracked out around it. And the leading edge needs redone, which... You know, it is what it is. That's not a super, super critical thing for me. I'm not planning on moving dirt with it or anything. Um, probably the main thing I see, I see that rod is bent over there. So, I'll probably have to take that out of there and straighten it or attempt to straighten it somehow. So, what I got here is an early 816. I know the PTO lever is backwards, so I know it's early. It's missing the shift knobs. All the cables are froze up and everything. It's got a lift hitch on it. To be honest, I haven't even checked to see if the motor spins over. Um, both rear tires are junk. Do you know that? Uh, it has snowplow latches. It is missing the shaft for the rear tiller. Even though the axle block is there. And apparently it's still got hydraulic oil in it because there's a little bit leaking. This would be the ad for the, the hydraulic oil tank. Or this this upright right here is the hydraulic oil tank. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks kind of rough, but it is, but it isn't, if that makes sense to you guys. Let's see what's under the seat. I haven't actually picked this up. So, uh, I just realized the... Sauce is gone. The oil that's in it don't look terrible. This thing was sitting outside, so who knows? Let's see here. Oh, motor spins over yet. Motor spins over and it's like the clutch is stuck. I don't know. Is it locked in a gear? Uh, look like the reverse clutch is stuck together. It may just be an adjustment. But steering's a little funky. But uh, looks like it's rather complete. I will get the serial number off of this thing and figure out what year it is. <clears throat> I also... I didn't really look to see if this has the box or if it was updated to rack and pinion. I'll look into that here. So. Anyhow guys, this will be the recent purchase. 816 with a quick way, lo yeah, quick way loader and I gave $500 for this I don't know if anybody thinks that's good or a steal or I overpaid but it is what it is always wanted one I feel like I, I did okay not amazing but okay as long as the tractor runs I, you know, I won't lose the money in a quick way I'm pretty sure I can fix everything the bent rod is going to take the most work and I'm pretty sure I can fix that with a shot press. So, a little bit of welding action, a little bit of shot press, a little bit of heat, a little bit of fresh gas and a battery and some cables, and hopefully this thing will be going. So anyhow, that's it for now guys. Later. So, step one to my plan. Well, step two. Got the 9 end put away, took the deck off of it. The brush hog. Um, step two, put some better tires on this. These tires, they're dry rotted and cracked, but they should be enough to hold air and move this around. And the tires that come off of this, I don't know if you guys can see, but they're bald, and if you push on them, air squirts out. So, uh, yeah. Other thing I found, I think you guys, I think you guys can see that. Regardless, there's some play in this hub, which it is what it is, I guess. Um, so I'm going to put these tires on. i got them broke loose. This side over here was really bad. The other side come right off. Ironically, this is the side leaking oil. So uh, bolt these on here and see if I can get this thing to roll off the trailer. I want to put my 818 away tonight and unhook the truck from the trailer. You don't have to, but that's what I want to do. As far as this, I think my plan is get it running or pick the loader up enough um, and get the ram off. 
if I can get the ram off and extend it, extend the cylinder out, extend the ram out, however you want to look at it. I guess I want to get the cylinder off, extend the ram out, and then I can put just the ram in V blocks on my press and I should be able to straighten it. At least I should be able to straighten it a lot because I think you guys can see it needs to go up in a little bit right there and over there. Right now you could only curl it back um, just flat so it would be hard to carry material. So let me get these tires on here and that will be step one and uh, the motor turns, oil looks decent. So uh, I guess at that point I can get rid of the very crappy seat. So I guess I need to find a seat for this. I have a battery that will work. I think I have a throttle cable. I have a bunch of 816 throttle cables. Um, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. It has fuel in it. it smells like old varnished fuel. Be kind of nice to try and run it through it because fuel is expensive right now, as you guys know. Um, I haven't looked up the year yet. I've been negating that. Actually, I went in, ate dinner, come right back out, and now it's. I think it's about 8 o'clock at night right now. So. Let me try and get these tires on here, and we'll go from there. I think I did say the muffler was missing. I, I think I showed that on the video from two hours ago. I don't remember. So, I think I explained why the 818 is on the trailer. I used the 818 to pull the 816 up. I'm um, getting ready to push this thing off, and as you guys can see, it's already rolling. So the 818 did that no problem with two flat tires. And up on the trailer. Um, this steering spindle is froze. But there's a lot of play in this ball joint. So I have some steering on the right hand side. So. Uh, let's see if a fat diabetic redneck can't get this, can't get this thing off the trailer. Stop killing himself. Alright, look up. So nice to get this steering spindle broken. My torch is in the basement, so I can't I can't camera it off or I can't heat it. Straight. Turn the other side till it's straight. As long as I miss my building here, it'll be okay. Here we go. Ain't like I can stop it. Alright. Knocked you guys down, but got it off the trailer. So, I guess for right now, maybe I'll hook the 818 back up to it the way I had it, and uh, to strap underneath the bucket, and drag it around back, I guess. Sounds like a good plan, eh? So, uh, I'm going to strap the 818 here, and we'll see what I can do. I'll try greasing up that steering spindle, too. I did put some in it already, but now that it moved a little, try to force a little more through it, and that'll loosen her up. So, uh, all right. And uh, the other thing, the reason I don't try and just crank it and get the loader to uh, come up, 
Valves are froze. Oh, actually just started going there. Alright. So they're starting to work. I put some blaster on them before I started screwing with them. So uh, we'll do that again. And uh, I said, we'll get her drug around. The 818 don't care. Lean and mean. Mm hmm. Eight eighteen should be able to drag this thing around. Yeah, it's working it to the left there. That's why I took this thing up to pick it up. I knew it'd be heavy enough. The eight eighteen tips in the scales at around fifteen hundred pounds the way it sits. If I'm sitting on it, it's pushing sixteen, seventeen. I don't know if you can tell, but see, it's got the tire squatted, but she ain't even grunting. So, you guys get what I'm up to here. I'll uh, get her drug around back, and uh, at some point I'll bring another loader up, and I'll pick the, the loader frame up and uh, block it up with some angle iron or something, and uh, go from there. So, without further ado, you guys know what I'll be doing for the next 20 minutes. Now, 